Now, I know that you guys love a good hot pot for your trip to Iceland. So get really excited because today I'm talking about one that you might not even have heard of. So the hot pot culture in Iceland is huge. We've talked about this before. Icelanders love hot water. And the good news is there's a ton of hot water in Iceland. Because of the volcanoes, there's natural hot water everywhere. So if you're wanting to experience this hot spring culture when you're in Iceland, listen up my friends because I have one of the best spots in the country. So Kroima is a geothermal spa that opened in late 2017. It is located in West Iceland at Deildartungukver. It is only an hour and a half drive from Reykjavik. So when you arrive at Kroima, you're greeted by the staff, you're given a towel and a bathrobe, and you're led to the changing rooms. Remember, it's very important to shower before you enter the pools in Iceland, as we've discussed in other videos. Once you get changed, put on your bathrobe and head outside. There are five different hot pools that you can choose from of varying temperature. So I recommend starting with the least hot one and working your way up, just taking your time, relaxing, and kind of just enjoying the scenery around you. Hot pools are such a big part of the Icelandic culture and because of its location and its uniqueness, it's likely that you'll see locals relaxing around here. It's not uncommon to spend a Saturday or Sunday just lounging at the pools. But of course, it's getting quite popular with the tourists as well. In addition to the hot pools, you have a cold pool as well. And I don't know if you guys have ever done the hot pool, cold pool experience. It's really, really good for our lymphatic drain which is good for your body and your health and your heart rate and all of that stuff. But it is always so cold. So you still gotta talk yourself into it, but just know it is good to get some blood pumping and you can always just go back right in the hot water afterwards. West Iceland has beautiful mountains and with the steam coming from the nearby area, the scenery out here is beautiful. I also love how Kroima is all black. So everything is like really minimalist and it blends in really, really nice with the landscape. It looks so Icelandic and so cozy and it's such a beautiful experience. At Kroima, it doesn't just stop with the hot pools. They have a steam room and sauna that you can also go into and spend as much time in as you want. So seriously, this is already such an amazing spa experience. And if that wasn't enough, there is a relaxation room. This is probably the definition of relaxation, by the way. There's a fireplace, there's comfy chairs, there's candles, and you just sit there and relax in your bathrobe, listening to music for as long as you want. This place is a dream, I'm telling you. At this point, you are feeling so relaxed. You had the pool, you had the shock of the cold water, maybe you had a little sauna. I mean, your body is feeling amazing. You're pampered, you just de-stressed. Any kind of tension in your body is literally melted away. Lastly, there is a restaurant and bar inside, and we definitely took advantage of this with a delicious meal and a local beer. Two things that you can't go wrong with on the menu are their lamb and their fish. I always highly recommend that. Kroima was no exception. The food that we had was really, really well prepared and so delicious. So this is a perfect way to end your relaxing day. Now my best tips to enjoy your time at Kroima include, the spa is open to any age. So they do have different prices for adults, teenagers, and children. And I do recommend checking the open hours on their website because the hours will change based on the seasons. Make sure to bring a swimsuit with you, obviously, but if you don't have one, you can rent one there, as well as a towel and a bathrobe if you don't have it. I would say you could allow one to two hours to spend at Kroima alone, and then if you wanna spend extra time at the restaurant or anything like that, that would easily be possible. We were there for several hours, really just taking our time to enjoy. And lastly, this is the perfect stop at the beginning or end of your road trip. So Kroima is located just east of Borkanes. So as you're driving, for example, along the ring road, 
counterclockwise or clockwise, you're gonna pass by Borgrenis. If you drive just a bit out of your way, you could stop there. So it would be the perfect thing to do. And then also a nice combination is if you are planning on visiting Kroenfasser in West Iceland, then that's also literally just on your way. You're gonna drive right by it. So there's lots of ways that you can easily stop by Kroenma and enjoy. I wanna say thank you to Kroenma for hosting us at your spa. It was such a beautiful experience and the perfect way to warm up in the cold Icelandic weather. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you loved it and I hope that you are able to enjoy your experience at Kroenma during your trip to Iceland. See you guys next week for another video. Until then, happy planning. Okay, this is gonna take me a few times because Dale Tunga, Dale da Tunga Quer, Dale da Tunga Quer, Dale da Tunga Quer. I don't know if you guys have ever done the hot pot, the hot.